What's going on guys, my name is Mike and welcome back to EXC Garage, a channel that's built for today's Acura's Hondas and all the classics. And today we are back on our EK9 Civic Type R refresh project. On the last episode you saw us work on the interior, we got all the worn pieces, the missing pieces and all the broken pieces replaced and looking really really fresh. And today we're going back to where we started, getting the suspension redone. Let's go into the bench and see what we got. So what we have here, we have a set of Street Advanced Z TN coilovers. They are brand new in the box. Let's go ahead and open the box and see what they look like. Well, there you have it guys, what in front of you is a set of Street Advanced Z coilovers. I think these coilovers sit between the bases and the flex, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so on the very top here, we do see it comes with uh, dampening adjustment on the very top. Springs over here, adjustable sleeves on the bottom. We also come with uh, a couple of rubber uh, dust boot right over here, adjustment tool. Last but not least, the literature tool for the valve adjustment up, up on the very top, uh, an emblem, and some good old stickers. Now let's go ahead and get the wheels off and get this started. So we got the wheels off, let's take a closer look at something that's been bothering me for quite a while. Take a look at these calipers and rotors, they're super beat up looking. Now these caliper from factory, they do come in this gold zinc type of finish. However, we were going to go ahead and remove them and get them replated. But when we take a closer look at these Mugen MF10, they are in bronze. So I don't think they are actually good to contrast well with the wheel so I have a conversation with the owner we have a solution we have the spray paint right over here we have done it on Integra and TL it is the closest to the OEM silver finish and I think that we're going to contrast well with the MF10 so let's go ahead and get started removing the coilovers the brake caliper and the rotors
so we got the old coilovers out with no problem and we got a new coilovers right over here all we have to do now is to swap over the top heads So that all ready to go. Next thing is, let's go ahead and get the brake caliper and the brake rotors off so we get them refinished. All right, so we got the front brakes right over here, the rear brakes right over here. Let's take a look at the rear brake pads. Man, it's almost worn down to this limit. You see the metal and the brake pads almost hitting the brake indicator. So this is the perfect time for us to go ahead and put a set of new brake pads back in the car. While we're doing the back, might as well just get a new set of brake pads in the front too as well. So next thing is, let's go ahead and get the rotors and the caliper prep so we can get some paint on it. So the first thing we're gonna work on are these brake rotors. On top of here, got a bunch of rust spot on it. So we got a wire wheel, so we go ahead and get it cleaned up so the paint can have a good adhesion. So we got most of the service rust out of the rotors. All we have to do now, get some brake cleaner, spray it down, and we're ready for paint. Brake rollers are all cleaned up. We did the same exact thing with the brake caliper bracket. The only thing that we did here, we went ahead and taped off some of this opening here so the paint wouldn't go through. So now let's go ahead and get our first coat on it. Thank you. 
All right, we're getting ready to do the caliper. First thing, let's go ahead and compress the piston. Then we go ahead and get it cleaned up and prepped just like the rotors and the caliper bracket. So here's our the final product of the brake caliper brackets. They all came out really, really good. I restarted to assemble the bracket by installing some of these dust boots. All I have left is some of these clips and the side pins. The last thing we're going to do is go ahead to resurface the brake rotors. Now we already got everything set up, now let's go ahead and do our first cut. So the second cut came out really good. What we're gonna do now, we're just gonna do a final slow cut. There you have it guys, it is perfect. So now all we have is three more rotors to go. So all four brake rotors are completely done, front rotors and the rear rotors. Now let's take a look at the calipers. We got the caliper done off camera as well. Come out really, really good. So I think it's time to put everything back together.
rotors and the caliper brackets went in perfectly so it's time for some new brake pads we got a set of oem front and rear brake pads inside the box comes with uh, two of these uh, malico uh, we have them over here just makes uh, life a lot easier when applying and less messy so a lot of the brake pads do come with the factory shims so you don't have to buy them separately uh, for the front and for the back so let's go ahead and uh, apply some, some of these Malico on the contact point and also the slide pins and then go ahead and put the caliper back together. So all we have to do, slide in those new brake pads and put on the calipers. We are all done with the brake caliper and rotors. Let's go ahead and get the coilover installed. We got something to show you guys. We run into a little bit of an obstacle. So let's take a look at the original uh, coilovers and the fork and versus the new one that we got. These are the correct one for the EK9 and this is the DA Integra, so US model 90 to 93. As you can see, the bottom of the coilover is just much skinnier than the correct one and the fork that they use were for the DA Integra. But the issue that we have is that the low control arm bushing is way bigger. As you can see, the previous uh, owner they went ahead and spread out the control arm. You can just see it's way wider. So the issue that you have is when you spread that out, it changed the pitch on the very top. So what they did was they went ahead and put on a longer bolt to compensate for the pitch. As you can see, all the threads pretty much stripped out. Uh, so the solution that we have is we actually have a spare set in our warehouse so we uh, send someone to pick that up in the meantime let's go ahead and finish up the back All right, so we are in the back of the rear suspension. All we have is to line up the long control arm to the hub and also to the struts over here. Got a sway bar link. And then go ahead and tighten everything up and uh, we should be uh, good to go. So the rear suspension all good to go. We put the wheels on with two lug nuts. 
so that when we bring the car down, we can kind of see where the car is sitting. It's perfect timing because our guys have brought us the correct suspension fork for the front. And now we can go ahead and get everything done at the same time. And we got new bolts for it too. It'll be perfect. So all we have left over is to preload the suspension and tighten everything up. So we got the car down for the first time without any adjustment. I really like the back. That's a perfect setup right there. Now the front is a tad bit lower than I wanted to. I think we're probably gonna go up about half an inch. Let's go ahead and get the car back up, get the wheels off, and get some adjustment. Alright, did some adjustment up in the front. I really like the height now, but the back, I think we gotta bring that down a tad bit just to match the front. Let's go ahead and get that done. So in the back here, I don't even have to take off the wheel. A couple of turns here. That should do the work. Alright, up a couple of adjustments. I think we got the height to exactly what we wanted. So let's go ahead and get the car up in the air and lock those sleeves up. We got a car on the lift now. The height is perfect. Let's go ahead and get the alignment done. So we got a target on the wheels already. But what we did was we put some uh, masking tape or painter tape on here so it doesn't scratch the wheels. Little things like that is going to make a huge difference.
So what do you guys think? We refresh all four brake rotors and calipers, install a set of brand new TN cordovers, and also perform a much needed four wheel alignment. And this wrapped up episode number six on our Civic Type R refresh build series. If you like what you see, you make sure you wanna support us by hitting that like button. If you're new to the channel, you wanna make sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching our channel. We hope to see you guys on the next one.